Good evening all, this is Gary from G Labs. Um, <clears throat> here is a video explaining about um, Market Maker, the multi asset scanner. We spoke about the single asset scanner last night. Um, so, obviously, we see all the cycles here on the first column. Same as here, a cycle, number of days since anchor point low. Um, well, where we traded away from. So for example, here on GU, we had ours 1.6 days away. Currently 0.9 ADR away from our anchor point high. And yeah, today we have a daily range of 119 pips. So we're probably gonna see a little retrace back into today's range this evening and then stop hunt tomorrow and either continuation or reset um, where this could become a new anchor point high if that is the case could see a mid week reversal however um, it looks like this was a nice anchor point low level one and then this was like a big deep retrace. However, it's looking um, it's looking like a big pullback to be honest. Take a look on the H1. Yeah, I think if this support holds, we could see another push up. However, we do have the 800 EMA here. So let's see what happens. Um. Back to the subject, so the Conix, I mean the market maker here, the multi-asset scanner, market maker, multi-asset scanner. So if we go to the settings, we can choose our time frame for the sharp fin, how many um, bars ago on the H4 we had the sharp fin. You can change that to any time frame you want. Um, you can use choose how many days ADR you have and how far away from the peak you want it to move before it shows the new cycle um, you can choose to show the sharp fin or not um, these are actually the alerts sent to your mobile device you can have um, these are the, the peak clock indicator EMAs and then you can choose your time frame for direction. So if you just want to trade lower time frame cycles, then you can actually choose what ones you want. Uh, these are the settings for the um, shark fins. And then these are the edible pairs for the scanner. Just remember, whatever you do in here, you should match with the market maker single asset, otherwise, the um, information inside them will not count and it won't match. If we just quickly look at the market maker, you have the two sharp fins on there because we couldn't put enough information in there to, to get all that information. And then we have our EMA colors, we have um, EMA length and direct for direction. The time frame for the peak lock as well. What ADR lines you want to display for the cycles like one, two, and three. Um, session box colours um, for Asian session. Then the London open box for the Brinks trade and the um, New York Brinks box. And then we have the shark fin settings. And then these are for the positions of the table on the chart also we have the days of the week the emas and the period separators yeah all of these are pretty nice um next up we're going to do a video on conics so that will be posted probably tomorrow now or early in the morning because i need to get some rest all right cheers guys